guys. Welcome back to Survival Records. Here I am, back at the derelict, out here, frozen in the lake. And you might be asking why. Why is he building up a control seat? Well, it's because I've got a control turret that I want to look through and figure out oh boy what I can see of that over there so that is the derelict that showed up just as I made my way to uh, to the derelict that was up there and and as you can see, it is very close. Just over the horizon there, there seems to be a slight curve to the ice. Ah, uh, and now I need to decide what am I going to do about it. That mm, had really big guns on top of it. idly moving, so. Yeah, two big turrets on top of it. So I feel I just need to... Yeah, I don't think I can get in onto that anytime soon. I guess maybe if I made another buggy with armor? Or like... Oh man, that'd be funny. I use this, but I just hold a big sheet of heavy armor in front of it while I drive in. That'd be funny. But, I have a couple of other ideas that I think I want to implement first. And one of them is actually got to do with this. Well, this and this. I'm thinking, I've got two thrusters. I can use those to provide left and right thrust. Because if you're flying on a on a uh, helicopter style, where you only have thrust going down, you don't have a lot of thrust left and right, it um, it's or you don't have four directions of thrust in addition to keeping you up. You can't just release the joystick and let the uh, you know let the AI stop you. You have to stop it using uh, you know using using some technique so I think what I'll do first today is get my little uh, air speeder maybe up and running you see about giving it uh, like I don't mind that it has some storage uh, this battery is... Uh, nearly full power. I bet you the mag plates are what's depleting it slightly. So let's go ahead and do this. And take these out. Now I'm not going to worry too much about making this thing aesthetically like Great right now. Uh, I want to. I want to worry about a. Uh, I'll worry about that when I have more thrusters, more than just these two. But first things first, I want to get this stuff out of the way, and then I've got a, a bigger plan for for this right here. Uh, maybe. Something along the lines of this. And we'll see where that takes me. Okay, well this is possibly just a little more than it needs to be. But if I get this connector welded up, I'll have a spot I can hopefully dock. My new little airship. My airspeeder. Now, it still only has thrust in the two directions other than forward and back, but... Uh, 
I don't know. I like, I've got one of these new vehicle cockpit, buggy cockpit things. Uh, I think this will work out. Let's go ahead and make sure all of my thrusters are on. The saddle cockpit is what they're called. And let's get this to switch lock. We've got dampeners controlled. Hey, there we go. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Stop, stop. Stop that. I made a serious mistake. I need to put gyroscopes on. Um, probably right there. They get... If that, piece, if that piece gets destroyed, I have worse things happening to this buggy than, uh, than otherwise. Um, well, let's finish, make sure I have these packed. I'll put both of them on. using up some uh, computers to do this, I think. Because, yeah, I'm going to do that. For one of them, it's going to go here, and then another one's going to go here. Which is nice about these little guys. You can do that. So, weld these up, and I'm going to make sure they're facing the right direction. I want to do no. that. Yeah, I need more of those. All right, I'll bring you back in a minute. Okay. Well, with those there, let's go back to having the dampeners on. Come on. Gotta hover it. And there we go. Now let's make sure we aren't worrying about wasting power because of... Oh, yeah, that was battery access denied. Um, let's get this one on to recharge. And this upward atmospheric thruster, let's go ahead and give it... No, I don't want to turn it off. I just want to turn inertial dampeners off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this, this is good. This will work. Right. Now, I have to ask myself, do I want to add more of these little batteries onto it? Uh, maybe, like, on the top in front of that, just to have sort of like a little bit of an emergency source. Um, let's t consider taking this platform thing off the bottom, because that's more weight than it needs. And then I think I'd like to take it out once I'm up op into open sky, I won't have to worry as much about uh, the finickiness of maneuvering. I'll just have to, to do that when I land. Plus, if I'm up in the air, I don't need to to, uh, to land. I can just, you know, fly past, drop a GPS marker, like, uh, you know, do this. Finish, GPS... Recon point. Re RP, recon point. Right, and so then I can just hit enter, up, enter to go with a recon point for recon point number two, recon point number three, etc. Uh, I think... 
I think I want to get going. I want to go do some scouting. Maybe get a better look at the... Ooh, there we go. That's something I should build before I leave. A camera. Can I make a camera? I should make like cameras, right? Yeah. Oh, I've got this cool new top-mounted camera. Let's, uh... Let's put that on. Up there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and... I'll get up there and build it and then I'll bring it back. Alright, I think that's a decent spot for it. And then, you know, as I, uh... As I add more to this, I think I could probably put, like, a, a thin strip in through here. That could work. Um, maybe just something like... That... No, I like it. I think I'll go with something tighter than that, even. Yeah. into there. That. And... Like that. Button. I think this will be a nice little cap on the top of it. Give it a little structure, a little more visual interest. Yeah. Okay, so I am on a lock and unlock. Let's get the main battery. Which battery? This battery is... <sighs> Airspeeder. Come up with a better name for that and leave it in the comments down below. Anyway. Airspeeder battery. And put that airspeeder battery on recharge on off. It's on recharge right now. It's fully charged right now. Let's drop that. Let's get the camera on here. And Let's re-engage inertial dampeners and disengage. All right. Uh, I am airborne again. This is good. Good, good, good. So let's take a look at that from a little higher. Oh, yeah, it's definitely in the in the ice quite a lot. Hmm. But I do not want to uh, accidentally go towards it. That's a grid on the ground over there. So I'm gonna dive forward, get a little speed, and go check this thing out. I need to keep a close eye on my altitude because 
can't stop suddenly. So I need to be able to, uh, you know, I, I don't want to slam into something. But if I go to the side like that, I can come in here nice and slow. Maybe drop down a little bit. And hop off. And what do we got here? Uh, it's a uh, it's one of those jalopies with the uh, the drill in the back. Um, kind of like one of the very first things I found. And what's in front here? Ooh, hey, another power cell missing batteries. I'm missing five power cells. Ooh, I don't think I could. I can't repair it. I don't have that many power cells available. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark this as a recon point. And go back up. I guess since I've been focused on that central location, there might be things scattered about on the lake near me. I'm going to go ahead and work on doing a circuit. Maybe going in this direction. Uh, see what I can find. I think I see another something out there on the ice in front of me. Uh, I am coming this way. Just made it around the little island there and see something on the ice. But also, I've got that one that I saw way back when that I haven't uh, haven't gotten up off of the ice yet. Uh, I'll pull up the blueprints or the schema, what are they called? The GPS coordinates for it when I can stop this thing. Jeez, what has been going on with the ice in this location? I've driven by here dozens of times, and whatever this big old chunk of roadway had going on, it was not exposed under the, uh, you know, it was it was definitely under the ice here earlier. This is a um, an interesting find for sure. Batteries and hydrogen tanks. Kang and Sons building. Anything particularly interesting in the back of this van? Is another battery. Oh, and that battery only needs one single power cell. Ah, oh, I might be able to repair that one. I could take the power cell out of the existing engine I have. Anyway, what is this scrap? Thanks. What the heck? Yes! Oh, that's perfect! 
It's... This is great. Okay. Um... Jeez, can I just, like, attach those right now? Oh, this is the, the... Yeah, this is... This is exactly what I needed. Um... Okay. Uh... Wow. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and... Grind these out. Oh, but I don't have the motors I need to be able to fix them here. Oh, oh those are cargo containers. Maybe I do have the motors I need. <gasps> Three power cells. Oh my goodness. Okay. This, this find. Perfect. Amazing. Everything I could ask for. At least, I mean, everything I could ask for right now in the immediacy of wanting to get this vehicle working in a slightly better fashion. Uh, as for other things I might ask for, I don't, well, I mean, I don't know. But that battery behind me. Oh, and there's some computer pieces. I might be able to fashion a easy... Uh, weld pad to get these on. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grind off of the floor so I can attach them by using just a single weld pad. Although, I guess I could probably do a. How do I want to do that? I want to get the. Rear thrust facing. Oh, oh, I need metal grids. I'm going to have to bring those back. So I want the, 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 that thrust facing forward. I think that one's facing a different direction than these two. Oh, it's actually just a different kind as well. Huh. Well, let's do this. Ooh, they're a little heavier than I expected to be in a clump like that. But I'm thinking I'll attach them right here, and... Maybe I ought to just bring them back first, and then worry about attaching them when I get back. Uh, that might be prudent. Because I have those metal grids in the... Uh, in storage back there. These are all extra bits I don't think I'll need. Uh, and then there's the battery in the back of this one. I really ought to just come back here with the rover and the trailer. Alright. Let's do that. Let's grab these with a... Put just like this mag plate here. Uh, I don't 
have any motors, but there was a motor in there. And then this just needs to click onto that. And I need to do this. Not that this place is going to be hard to spot. It's a giant walkway sticking up out of the ice. And in the meantime... Let's do that. Why am I dying? Oh, I need water. Okay. I'm going to go back... I'm going to go back to the base and, uh, and revitalize this, refurbish this. Oh, what's that? Ah, okay. Back to the base. Get this thing so it's no longer in helicopter mode. And I will... Uh, I'll go check out whatever that thing is. Yeah. Okay, back at base. And I'm going to go ahead and line up. And lock in on that... Connector. Perfect. Some things banging don't do that. Yeah, okay, uh, let's grab you, and let's turn you off there. And I suppose turn the battery on to recharge. 93% on this tiny little jaunt over to there and back. Uh, not good. Okay, but hey, I'm here. Ooh, let's, uh, let's get... This cleared off. Let's do that, that, that. And I do have what I need in here. I don't have enough motors for it. Do I have enough motors in here? Nope. Um, I, my inventory is suddenly all the very full. Let's drop this off. Let's weld up what we can, and then worry about motors. Okay. Where am I gonna get motors? Uh, nothing more in that, or that. There's one in that. Oh, then there's lots of piping up there. Yeah, that'll do it. I'll grab it out of the conveyor bits throughout the ship. Like here, there's six there. Inventory full. Inventory full. Hmm. Okay. Well, I have options now. Let's uh, let's get to it. need a metal grid for that. That seems incorrect. I feel I should have had a few more metal grids since then. Are they in here? Yeah, look, I got 30 of them. Okay. Okay, so this is going to... Can I not... I can't pick it up. No worries, I can drop this down. Let's uh, get out that way. 
Uh, take it off charge. Turn on dampeners. Unlock. Drop down a little. Come on. Now can I can I just pick it up just enough to like literally pick it up? Come on. Ah, ha -ha. <laughs> hey, it worked. Worked, 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 and now I have thrust in every direction. Let's make sure these guys are all turned on. Okay, and then they had the one on. Oh, look at that. It works. Beautiful. Okay. So, ah, oh, man, I've got so many more options now. This is so good. Okay. Let's spend a minute to put some nicer looking attachment pieces onto this and and then we can go back out and do some more scouting or do I work on that project oh uh, the scouting would be exciting but I think that project might be really important um Let's do a quick check to see if there's anything else out on the ice. Mm. Or do I want to get off the ice first? I think I want to get off the ice first. Okay. That... that'll do it. Let's... Let's work on getting off the ice. Alright, so what is it I plan on doing here? Or rather, I mean, this is what I plan on doing here. The areas I've turned gray, kind of in line with this center bit here, I'm going to cut off and turn into a rover. So, around about this block here and then moving this way. I'm going to start slicing it all off, grinding it up, and then uh, that will... I, I repainted everything to uh, to give it some uh, contrast. But, like you can see uh, down in through here, I want to keep the gyroscopes attached and probably those oxygen tanks as well because, you know, if I can get this thing refurbished all the way into being a actual spaceship, then great. But that means, uh, like, I'm gonna have two downward thrusts there. Can't get rid of this. I don't need a foot here. And I feel like this here, the, the this angled bit of armor, needs to be like the bottom, and the wheels have to be attached offside from that. Yeah. So I'm gonna start chopping pieces away until uh, you know I'm gonna chop this part off the back first. Yeah. Maybe I can get one of these tanks refurbished properly. 
the the trouble with that tank the trouble on this side of things is i would probably want to keep these h2o2 generators and they're all the way out here now maybe i could move it somehow get it more in line with this because of like if it's three on either side of the center board and I keep that where it is there's one of the cargo containers I still haven't hacked those cargo containers there's one of the cargo containers and I think the other one is right there next to it so yeah that's probably going to be what the core of the of this rover is going to be is a center line and then three out and then and then do the wheels so uh, let me get to it okay there's this part and I suppose I can actually I, I'm really quite uh, involved with that right now Mm, I was going to say I could use my grinder there to grind these bits up, but let's, uh, let's not worry about that. Um, how much of this could I dump off? There's not very many more large uh, metal plates, steel plates, necessary in that tank. I am going to try and keep that tank. I could try and also keep this tank. It's in the same plane, right? It's like it's at the same height, but it's definitely in the the voxels there a little bit. We'll see. I, I'm gonna. I'll work on clearing clearing things away. But let's dock things there, there, there. Okay. Uh, and let's uh let's go. So I've almost sliced it here, uh because we're at center line plus four uh to make it to a uh to the edge. It was four, not three, because I was miscounting the sloped pieces here. And I guess I want to keep those oxygen tanks, yeah, just in case. Let me start working on pulling this stuff out of the bottom, I guess. Although, I, uh... I guess I ought to... Consider what's going on. Those, those are where those tanks are. Uh, here, let's check out what's going on with these cargo containers. Uh, access denied. What? Holy... Okay. Why the heck have I been so fussed about large steel tubes this whole time? And there's solar panel cells, too. That That's great. I have those solar panels that need all the cells in them. Okay, that is useful. And what else have we got? Hopefully nothing explosive or anything like that. That'd be scary. Ooh. A little smattering of uranium. Alright then. In here... Mm, some interior plate, okay. And some bullet... Actually, I have an immediate use for that bulletproof glass. The, uh... That industrial cockpit that I, that I threw up there is, uh... It's kind of an expensive cockpit. There, bulletproof glass. 
Alright, well, the batteries are up in here, and there's where the uh, survival kit, thank you, is. I've got plenty of tubes now. Let me keep uh, digging things away and see what I can do about extracting it. I dump up my stuff while I can. So the next question is, do I care about a gravity generator? I've always found that just having one while you're up in space isn't really that great. But like, by the time I get up into space, I could probably acquire a, another one some other way. I think it's just gonna get in my way, and if I just detach it, like, I don't even think I could detach it. It's gonna be stuck in the ground there, yeah. Let's just get rid of it. And I've emptied this out. Inventory full. And I've been dumping stuff into here. So let's get there, and now I'm going to start questioning if I can dig this part out here. So here we go. Alright, so I have opened up and cleared away the space all around the section I want to dislodge. It, uh, it, it hadn't actually been being held in place. I'd already split the grid because there was no block there. So I just removed that one. We're now completely free-floating. Um, uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of that one because it was kind of in the way. And now I don't want to just set it free and have it flop to the ground. Um, I want to... What do I want to do? How do I want to do this? I want to prep it with some pistons first. So, about that height. That'll work. And on um, this side. Oh, I need to clear out some more space. Let me, uh, let me get those all set up and ready to go, and then I'll see where I can take it. Okay. We are free there. Let's, uh, just barely got into it. Oh, okay. I'm going to turn on my pistons. I'm just going to have them all reverse so they go outward and let's go to info and convert to ship not possible great oh oh crap okay go back to these pistons and let's uh reverse them again yeah they were starting to clip through the ground of that. Actually, I kind of wonder if that might be why. It was not converting. I hadn't welded that up at all, so it wasn't really being a problem, but I'm going to go ahead and just clean out a little bit more down and through here, and then uh, see if I can fix it. Okay, 
give it another shot. I went ahead and put some uh, locking plates on them. Uh, hopefully I can get it to work out properly and get this thing ready to go. I think I'm going to go ahead and try and just convert it to ship first. If it, uh, you know, goes terribly. Info. Convert to ship. Oh, 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 I'm free. Okay. Okay. Um, so I didn't put a mag plate on that back one. So, and that mag plate's not welded up. Okay, let's go to the mag plates. Let's not auto lock. So that should even disable the auto locking on that one. Right. Now let's go to the pistons and reverse them. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice. Okay. Well, I'm up off the ground. And let's get the mag plates locked again. Yeah. Let's uh, let's drop down a little bit before I jump out and land on the ground and die. Uh, but let's reverse. That's odd. What's going on there? Why? that not just lower me to the ground. Oh, I have to unlock with them and turn off the auto lock. Okay. And now, if I... Auto lock off. Unlock. Now. Reverse. There we go. Okay. Let's get down to about there. And I'm not immediately dying. I'm going to go ahead and raise this one up a little bit. Well, hey, I've got it off the ice, out of the ice. Now I just got to get some wheels on it. Oof. That was a bit of a lag spike. Let's turn this one on. get a mag plate on there now. Does it matter if I have a mag plate on this one as well? Probably nice to have it be even. Then all my stuff is over here. goes there. I'm going to put a floor down of just basic blocks here. And there. No, that's too high. There. Okay. And then 
that'll be the floor that this will connect to, and then I'll start grinding up the parts of this I don't want. The one part of this that I would like to keep is that cryo chamber, and definitely, you know, if I can, the O2H2 generators. But what I'm going to do with this is, on top of it, build a crane that I can use to move pieces onto this. And then from behind, I'll do, like, a trailer that I can park that on, which would be an interesting endeavor under its own accord. So much to do. Well, at the very least, I can drag one of these around. Can I get it up? New. No, I can't. Hmm. Well, it's out of the way. That's that's kind of important. This one, I'm going to guess, is even worse. Yeah, all those metal clip components are going to be awful heavy. Okay. Um, I'm going to need to count all of my large steel tubes, figure out how many wheels I can put on this thing, and of what size. That is a pertinent question. Okay, I've got almost 200 large steel tubes. That is way more than I could ask for. So a 3x3 three three wheel requires 6. A 5x5 five five requires 20. Now, I think, jeez, I think a 5x5 five five might be a little overkill here. So let's take a look at 3x3s. Three three. Yeah, like, uh, you know, I think maybe I could actually fit it underneath a little bit, like down in this level. That would be better for me, I think. Let's... let's do that. Oh, like... right there. If I put it there, that's... Mm, a little far back from the front of the vehicle. I'd like it to be closer to the front of the vehicle. Uh, so... One block out, basically attached right in here. Oh, no, dang it. Okay, no. That's to that. Uh, and this is my right wheel, actually, uh, the left wheel, because that's the left side of the vehicle. So, 5x5, 3x3, yeah, just like in there. Now I realize that it definitely does not allow for the wheel to connect where the piston is, but if I pick it back up and put the pistons on bit by bit, that should work. So this next one, I want to basically attach it right underneath this. Yeah. And then this one is on the right side. Yeah, just like that. Okay, wheels could not be placed, that makes sense. And... I think I'm... good on that front. Now it's just a matter of fitting them back in here. Do I just put them opposite 3x3s? 
those two, I think that'd work. Like right in here. Just have the symmetry be based on where those, where the wheels are gonna tuck up against the tank. So in this case, I want another left wheel. And yeah, I think like that. I'm gonna have to clear away some room on where I can attach these. But let's get to that in a minute. So, wait, I want this one to be the right. Yep. Okay, now let's get to attaching wheels. So, we're doing this by picking and locking down with one of the pistons. Picking up a piston, I'm gonna go ahead and get on top and start clearing pieces away from there. And if I get on top here. And this needs me to put on one of these. Take out this inventory fist. Full. Drop off all that junk. Where are we looking at? So it's underneath what I'm standing on. What's going to... Oh, it's the light. That light right there. Okay, here's the wheel. Let's... Wheel could not be placed. Uh... Why not? Probably because of the gyroscope. And I cannot move the gyroscope. So, let's extend the wheels out by one. And that's my left wheel, which is number eight. up, and there's the wheel attached. Yeah. Although, while I'm here, do I go ahead and drop the wheel down by one? I think maybe that might be prudent. Put the wheel there. Uh, which means I need to have this piston pick up a little higher. Don't walk on. Just enough, hopefully, to allow this to place. Yeah, there we go. All right. And then from there, I can build the hull, you know, the, the, the carriage, the base of the thing. It gives me an extra blocks distance between whatever I would be bottoming out on and what uh, the, the precious tank full of hydrogen, hopefully full of hydrogen. And yeah, it's just a matter of now 
doing that same process in three different corners probably finishing grinding up away that stuff because I'm not I might just have to get rid of this one and some of that to get the block here placed and then once I have three blocks placed or three wheels placed I can uh, lower down onto those wheels and um, weld up this one all right guys check it out this is gonna be a decent sized rover I, this this land crawler I will I'll be quite happy with it I think and then once I oh why is that out of battery oh because it's only got a couple of little batteries and ooh yeah leaving lights on one up Wow. Okay, uh, distractions. Anyway, um, once I have it... Where the heck was my train of thought? Once I have it built up a little bit more, I'll be able to use this to pick those batteries up, put them on, like, up on top of it, or tuck them up underneath it some, connect them to it, because that's two batteries here. That's my only source of power on this thing. Uh... And then I'll actually be able to get those batteries, or not batteries, those solar panels installed on top of it. And I have a custom turret controller around here somewhere. Right here? Yeah. And I can use that on a camera on a little solar panel array to have them point toward the sun. Now, while I'm here on the, you know, really close to the pole, pointing straight up is effectively going to be all that matters but I like it and then well, I can put a garden up on top of it as well get uh, get some more apples growing again I'm liking it I think this is uh, this is coming along great so uh, but it's uh, it's late in the day you know it doesn't look it I know but I am going to call it for now. I'm going to find that bed. There was a bed somewhere in here. It was behind one of these walls. Let's not uh, cut into it any more than we had to. It was, yeah, there it is. There's the bed. Ah, bed. I'm gonna go ahead and catch some of these. It's even a little dark in here. I do hope you all enjoyed this episode of Survival Records. I hope that you will join me again for the next episode. And until then, thanks for watching.